Hey, guess what? It's Tuesday afternoon. We just did a live, but I haven't done any video for today. So, yeah, fuzzy. There's a little boy. There's a little girl. There's one of the mamas. I'm not sure which one. I think that's the little girl's mom. But I could be wrong. There's the one that hasn't calved yet. The only one left. And yeah, she got a watery eye. She's got a big tear on her inner eyelid. Which we have done what we can for it. And the only thing to do is either cut it out or stitch it up. And both those options aren't necessarily the best. And she's a... Ah, uh, she's only an eight model. Got to be the wrong eight, though. Because I know she's not that young, so... That makes her a 12-year-old. Okay, that's the heifer's mommy right there. The other one's the bull calf's mommy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I showed this stuff or not. Interior pieces. Most of them aren't in too bad a shape. They need new covering on them, of course. You think? And definitely get some cleaning up done. And there's a butt. <laughs> I thought that butt might have been in here. I wasn't sure. There's another side panel. Hmm. Obviously, this goes where you should be able to see part of it. Because it's got all the information on it. It's on the rest of it. Oh, hey, there's the... It's on the right seat. There's the rest of my dash panel. I'm trying to decide what to do there because I doubt we're going to get the parts. Hey, those will probably even clean up a little. No. And I don't know what else he's got in here. You want me to take this down or you want it up here to put more stuff in? Mm, you can take this down. Can you unplug that for me? Not unplug it, but it won't suck. It's done sucking because it's full? I dumped okay. the majority of it in here, but it's the filter itself. Uh, I guess I got to go blow a filter off for the vacuum. But I'll get this out of the way. And he missed out on his lunch. Yeah, that's fine. He got a little scoop of grain. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that cup she's got that was actually laying. The fuse panel is behind the seat over the top of the battery box, and I think it was laying there. So that's what I got for you for now. And yeah, hood up, because I was trying to figure a couple things. And a small crescent wrench, because I think I can get it to fit on the... And one thing I, I really goofed on, they put this nice handle here. I noticed this morning, it's broken. Problem is, I thought, okay, no problem, I'll take it off, I'll go fix it. Yeah, AC lines go down through the middle of it. Perfect. So, I don't want to break that loose. I want to see if the if the AC even works before I break anything loose. But, here she is, in her glory. And, some of you, if you watched the live, you know we've got an issue with the brake master. Here's what it's got. Shouldn't be too hard to get one from Napa, hopefully. Otherwise, we got to do it the hard way. And I don't want to do that. I can at least get a rebuild kit from Napa if I have to, but I don't like rebuilding those anymore because they usually don't hold up. Okay, that's enough for now. What I'm working on at the moment goes in here. What the book shows is two rubber pieces, steel sleeve in the middle. Those rubber pieces are like eight bucks a piece shows they're available online it takes two of them at each spot so you're 32 dollars for those plus a new bushing yeah i'm making them out of some old mud flap that's probably going to hold up more because it's got fibers holding it together should hold up a lot longer i hope making three pieces piece uh radiator hose for around the bushing with mud flap top and bottom to squeeze it all together gotta be better than what's here the bad thing is I might have to cut some bolts out because I ain't got on the budge, just the one. We'll see. I'll go up to the shop and show you what I got going. Parts and pieces. 
top edge of a mud flap where it bolts so it's thicker. And radiator hose. And here they are put together on a bushing. So I'm hoping it's going to work. I might need longer bolts. Metric bolts in there, but, eh, you know, that can happen or change. Oh, yeah. There's part of my parts list so far. Half of that's unavailable unless some dealer someplace has it. Or you can find it at a uh, tractor salvage yard, which I haven't found anything online for them yet. So I got to call, find out, go from there. I just got to take the time to do it, which just means, you know, something else doesn't get done. So I'm trying to get everything else done. Goofing off on live didn't help get things done today, but, eh, you know, a little morale booster. Got to see a bunch of people. So, and I uh, had one message me and said they watched, but they couldn't comment. Well, that's weird. Of course, YouTube has been doing strange things. You know, even Rick Bork, he texts me and says, man, I, I showed at the tail end. They didn't let me know about it till then. Well, yeah, I, it's the problem I keep having with everything. Half the time they don't tell me about people's comments. So I started out, I was going to use the thin part of that mud flap for the centerpiece. And I did them and I punched a hole out in the middle, but I split them open. So that wasn't going to work. I think the first couple I tried to drill. Yeah, here's the ones I, I punched the centers out of these, but punch broke them out. I was drilling the center out of this one, and, and it'll be this side you see it on, I think. It cracked it out to the outside, so that's where I went for the hose instead. The reinforcement in there will help. It's actually pretty solid material, so it ought to last as long as I need to worry about it. Because I'm sure those are the originals I'm taking out. You know how it is. Well, the front two are together. They're not tight yet because the back two are apart. Back two ought to be a lot more fun. This one, eh, not too awful bad, but that one's kind of harder to get to. And, uh, yeah, get that cut off. I do still need to do something here. My original thought was just a band-aid clamp on it, but I don't know. It'll probably be fine with a band-aid clamp. I got one. I'm not gonna put that on until I get this done and then we'll see. I might even, I don't know. Really what I should do is pull that tube off, cut the end off, put a new end piece on it, weld a new end on it, but the problem with that is knowing how long I need to put on there and, you know, band-aid clamp and put the seam to the bottom, that'll hold up for a hell of a long time. Be nice if that was all stainless, wouldn't have that issue. And yeah, in case you can't hear it, it's raining. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, it's, it's like it would rain. So anyway, I got to go back up to the shop. I got four more of these pieces to put holes in. And while I'm doing it, I'm welding up the, the bigger parts that are wore in. And here's the best two that came out. These were actually the bottom pieces on the front two. One of them is like new, but harder than a hockey puck. So, anyway, I go finish making pieces. Okay, I'm calling it a day. That ain't the prettiest setup in there, but it's in there. Pain in the ass, by the way. But it's all in there. And, yeah, band-aid clamp. It'll hold at least for a while. Until something doesn't move like it should. But looky, hey, stacks on. I'm assuming that's the way it was pointed before, at least it's pointed to the side, not toward the cab. 
Haven't quite figured out where, if that's a factory radio antenna mount or not. It appears that the cable was run through the window. I'm not really up on that kind of crap. I'd rather have it up and have it go straight to the radio. It's probably going to come off of there. And I got that on and went, huh, that's funny. I had a funky rattle. It's been busted up in here before, but that bolt was loose because the hole was more the size of the flange on the bolt. So, it's there now. Yeah, something else I gotta try to find too. May as well see what I can do with that. Now's the time to do it. In the parts blow up stuff, I haven't quite figured out what I need for that pivot down there yet. Because it's kinda funky the way it's worded. But we'll see. And oh hey, we're holding this door here shut. That's got what it shows is a little three arm, just a knob, turn knob. Push it in, turn a quarter, turn it locks in. Yeah, seventy three dollars and change a piece for those. I don't think so. I think we'll put something different on there. I mean, I can probably find them aftermarket. It's not like they didn't go to the company that was making stuff and, and buy it, you know. And yeah, this will be another story back here, but first things first is get stuff cleaned up. And I'm going to guess somebody forgot to unhook something and broke that. I can probably make another one. Don't think it's too hard. I've made three or four others at least. And I'm hoping that we don't really have a, an issue with a seal there or over here. Both of them show a little bit. You know, it's been setting. Who knows? Either be good or bad. Either got to do something about it or don't worry about it. Oh, I don't think I've brought you up here for a while. I've got that butt out of the way so we can get up here. Yeah, Dash has an issue. Still not sure how some of this is going to come apart. Not sure if I can get the pieces or not. She said she had a screw that wouldn't come out. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, probably. We swing it around. Probably that one. Nope. It could be the the weepy fuel or the weepy oil line too. I can't see nothing in there, can you? Not really. So, yeah, some things to do. Get a cab kit found, for sure. Got another panel to fix there, because I imagine the kit don't come, or that don't come with the kit. And, of course, definitely we need some cleaning up up here. It's, you know, yeah, it ain't new. And I'm really hoping that all of this here that's busted up is the cap kit itself. What I've been able to find, it's a glow molded plastic that they got it all stuck on, and that's what it kind of looks like. Get it straightened up. And, oh, I thought they put metal on here and riveted in. That's leather riveted to it to hold it together. What the hell? And then only part of them go into anything. Here, you can see it now. These don't go into anything. That didn't do them much good. Not sure why they'd do it that way, but. And, eh, lines don't look too bad here. Hopefully there's no issues there. They left a monitor mount in here. I don't think I need to worry about a monitor in here. If it had a PTO on it, it, it could be a big baler tractor, but it don't, so I'm not going to worry about that. And, yeah, this is cleaned up enough. We can see some of the, some of the sticker. 
See what we don't have is all this back here is for the three point. Yeah. Phone rang. Sorry. Yeah, we don't have a three point on it. It's bareback, so don't worry about that. Um, I like the little air compressor for the seat. Kind of interesting where they got it set up. Park brakes right here, too. Got to figure out what's actually working there and what's not. And oh, got to figure out if our wipers work. It switches right on this one. Don't know if it works or not. Here, I'll show you. Right there. Maybe the key's got to be on. I have no idea. And all the wiring shoved in here. Got to figure that out too. So, that's it. That's what I got to show you. It's a dirty beach. Um, vacuum's been dumped a couple times. Don't know what else to tell you there. And I guess that's probably about it for now. Makes more than a long enough video. Oh yeah, here's what the naked top looks like. Yeah, that must be where the radio is. What do you know? Have to do something different there anyway. And while there's no top on it, we'll take stuff apart up here and see what's really what. Clean it out, because that's all air duct work. Get it done. And go from there. So, hey, thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, you want to see more? Subscribe. Ring the bell. YouTube might tell you that I'm doing something. Got to figure out what this is, too. Who knows? Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody.